Welcome back. It is the Flow Friday Sports Show here on Flow FM. And it's time to take a look at the Picola and Districts Football League with our correspondent, Tim McCormack, who's on the line. Tim, great to be back with you. How are you? Yeah, yeah, very well, thank you. And uh, looking forward to another big week of footy. I'm sure you are, particularly given your result last week against the Denny Rovers, 93-65 to for Mathura against the Denny Rovers. How did you see this game, given that uh, it was a great win for your team? Yeah, that no, certainly was. The Mathura boys come down to the blocks well, and uh, that's probably the losses we've had is uh, we've been a bit slow to start, but the boys started very well on the weekend, and um, we got the margin at up to about uh, nearly six goals at half time, and were, had did enough to hold on by the end. Is that your best performance of the season so far, Tim? Uh, probably our best performance against sides uh, at, at times. Uh, the week before against Yarrawee, we had a very big win, but uh, it was all one-way traffic. This way, uh, this game that Denny had their, their turn where they had the footy, and, and we had to fight and scrap and the most uh, most even performance across the four quarters that we've had. Bacola United and Katunga played out an evenly fought game. It went the way of Katunga though, 91 to 82, the final score. Less than 10 points in it, Tim. How would you see that game? Yeah, look, I think I, I selected Katunga last week to get over the line and, and it didn't, the game didn't disappoint. It was, uh, it was a very close one, only nine points in it. Uh, on their home deck, Bacola were hard to beat, but I always thought Katunga might have had just too many guns for them on the day. Well, I think you were right. Moving on to Rennie v. Berrigan. Uh, a real nail-biter, just three points in it, but uh, Berrigan getting the chocolates, 90-87 to 87 on the road. They'll be pleased with their efforts. Yeah, and look, this was probably a lot closer than I thought it would be too. I, I really thought Berrigan would have um, would have done a number on Rennie that struggled over the last few weeks to kick a score, but this was uh, went right down to the wire, and all credit to Berrigan getting it done on Rennie's home track. Just looking at some of the other closer games, uh, Tungamar against Katamatite. 43 to 51, this one finished in favour of the away side. So, um, again, a, another close game, and uh, Katamatai too got on that occasion. Yeah, look, I, I think I, I really thought Tungamar would have got over the line. They've had a probably not a bad two or three weeks. Uh, but to their credit, with Katamatai, they're, they're not going away. They've got a couple of big scalps already, uh, and they're going to be uh, a force to be reckoned with as the season goes on. Do you think things are starting to even out, and uh, perhaps we're seeing a a little more balance restored to the competition now that we're a few rounds in with some of these close games. Certainly the closest round we've had so far, Tim. Yeah, it, it certainly is. I think there's... Um, I was having a look at the scores there uh, this afternoon. I think there was... Uh, our game was only 20-odd points. There was another game was about 30 points. There was two or three that were within a goal or, or 10 points or so. Uh, and there's only two really big margins. So... I think the top probably six or seven sides are going to battle it out, and then the uh, the bottom few are going to struggle, I think. Well, we'll see, but uh, just rounding out some of the other results, uh, Strathmerdan, they rounded things out nicely for themselves with uh, a very nice scoreline of 195 to Blighty's eight. Uh, so some work to do for Blighty. Yeah, look, um, they're, they're going to be competitive um, in their part of the, the ladder with um, a couple of sides in their area of the ladder, but they just won't have um, the calibre to go with probably top four or five sides who um, obviously Strathmore did a real number on them on the weekend. Token wall 44 to Geraldery's 86. Nice win for the away side here. Yes, it was. Um, this is one, probably another one that uh, if you had a look at where they are on the ladder position, could have gone either way. So I wasn't able to surprise. Yeah, and it's interesting, Tim. Uh, It shows that uh, most of the away sides got up this weekend, um, but certainly not in the final game that we'll talk about, which was uh, we are up against Yarrawea, who did not register a single score. 338 to zero, Tim. Zero. Yeah. The, rain, the reigning premiers certainly flexed their muscles on the weekend. And um, uh, and I think for, for poor old Yarrawee, I think they, on the day they had to forfeit their reserve grade side too. So it looks like a, um, it's going to be a long and bleak season for poor old Yarrawee. Uh, but once again, as I said, the reigning premiers have flexed their muscles and uh, told the rest of the competition they're not done with yet. Correct. Uh, let's look at the ladder. So Strath, Merton first, Katandra second, Katamatide third, Weir fourth, uh, Katunga fifth, uh, Mathora your side sixth, and then Denny Rovers seventh, Tungama eighth, Gerudery ninth, Berrigan tenth, Piccoli United eleventh, Tokemol twelfth, Blighty thirteenth, Rennie fourteenth, and 
Yarrawea in 15th. Uh, how do you see that top six coming along then, Tim? Do you think things will change much in the next few weeks? Yeah, oh, look, I, I think um, looking at it realistically, I, I, my side's got a really good chance over the next month or so to probably climb a little higher. But I honestly think the top six is pretty much, or probably I should say the top five, that'll be pretty much how it finishes up, I think. So I think they're just that little bit much much better than the sides below them. And then you've got probably the next four, four or five that are in the next group uh, and then the uh, the rest rounding it out. But uh, I think the top five is pretty much like I thought it would be, other than possibly Tungama as the only one that's probably a little bit lower than I thought they would have been this early in the season. All right, early call, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's look at this weekend's result, uh, fixtures, rather. Berrigan up against your side. How do you feel about this one, travelling on the road there to the Berrigan Recreation Reserve? Yeah, look, it's going to be uh, another game, a little bit similar to last weekend, I think. Um, Tom, I think if we can get a decent start, we're in it up to our eyeballs. And, uh, uh, so that's going to be the key for, for the Mathara boys, is, is getting a good start. Uh, and then trying to hopefully control the game. But Berrigan always very, very hard to beat on their home ground. So we've got to be up for the fight early. Otherwise, our backs will be up against it. All right, Blighty, they're up against Tungamar, and uh, all indications are they're going to get rolled. Yeah, I'd say uh, Tungamar will be way too strong. Uh, they're a quality outfit, and as I said, I was a little surprised at the way they are on the ladder. Uh, but I'm sure that'll probably change around a bit in the next uh, month to uh, five weeks. You'd sense Piccolo, Piccolo United, uh, they could be competitive against Geraldery. At least uh, they'll give them a run. Yeah, look, I think the Cola, I'll, I'll back the Cola to beat Geraldery on the weekend. Um, I, I think they've got a very, very good midfield. Uh, but in saying that, we haven't played Geraldery yet. Um, played the Cola first game, and they were, they were pretty slick. So um, well, I think the Blues will get up. How do you see Catamatite going against Tokemol? Yeah, I think Catamatite will be too strong. Um, they'll uh, consolidate their their place in the top two or three um, over Tokemol, so yeah, they'll be too strong. The Tandra are up against Awea. Which way do you see that one going? This, this, this by, by far, I think, will be the match of the round. Um, the Tandra and Wai, they've had some good battles over the years. Uh, I, I really think after Wai Ai's win on the weekend, they're back to pretty much back to full strength, I believe. I think they'll be too strong for, uh, for Katandra. Strathmerton travelled to play Denny Rovers at Memorial Park in Daniloquin. Which way do you see that one going? This one will be a bit closer than what a lot of people think. Um, Denny Rovers play their ground at Memorial Park very well. It's a big ground. Uh, so Strathmerton will want to have their runners up and about. Otherwise, the young side of Denny will give them a bit of trouble. But I still think Strathmerton will just be too strong. Yarrawea play Rennie. Uh, your thoughts there? Well, this uh, well after Rennie's performance last week, I really have to tip them. Um, I don't know how the, the poor old Yarrawea boys recover after the, uh, the shellacking they got last week. So uh, Rennie had a, had a really close game against Berrigan. I think their confidence will be up enough for them to get over the line, have their first win of the season. Katunga with a bye. That round sings out. Tim McCormack, great to catch up with you again. Good luck on the weekend, and thank you very much for your time. No worries, mate. I'll talk to you next week.